The AFL on RSN will not be seen tonight, but will be seen Monday and Friday next week at its regular 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Stay tuned for a special from Retro Sports Network presented by Sports Simulations and Replays, the best place on Facebook to post your project, whether it is PC, console, or on the tabletop. Sports Simulations and Replays, over 1,028 members strong. Join today. Welcome to another release night video. My name is Ron Juckett. Today, tonight, we're going to do the live virtual unboxing for Action PC Basketball. I think it's 2020. We'll see if I'm right or wrong about that when I go to, to install it in a couple of minutes. Uh, we're going to go through some of the new features. We're going to show you how to mod a team to put in some logos and some courts. And we're going to play a quarter of basketball and hopefully explore together what new changes there are in the 2020 version of this game compared to the 2019. Is it worth upgrading if you bought last year? And are the Toronto Raptors really good enough to be NBA champions? Who knows? Let's get to it, shall we? First, apologies to ID Jester for cutting off his stream. Hopefully you can see this okay. And so, come on. It's okay, so it's nope, 2019. So let me change that in the chat. It's the 2019 basketball. It's so new, Windows 10 doesn't know what to do with it. So I bought the deluxe version. It's usually how I do that. It comes with um, a number of seasons this year. I think uh, 69, 70, 85, 86, and 98, 99. So you know how this works. Same stuff as before. It goes into its own installation folder. Click the button. And we install. Yes. Always keep the files that are there, even if it's being older. You just don't want it to be ever conflict with the games. That's what Dave uses, and so we'll keep them. And if you have any questions as we go along in the next hour and a half or so, please feel free to ask, okay? Game is in. And for the first time, I got to go through the old fashioned way to get it. It's going to be in your program files 86. Basketball 2019. Basketball 2019. You click on the app, you see it right there. And there you have it. That's what it looks like, yeah. We'll install the court graphics and the sound files. Installation is complete. Let's open up 69, since I don't have that one already open. Okay. I don't have any pictures, um, and we don't have any logos set up, so let's take a look at that. This is your opening uh, splash screen. You see the teams. Hopefully, he's actually used some real schedules. How you doing, Mike? Some of the older seasons, the schedules aren't right, but hopefully he's used it for there. And the standard... Um, 
no line for any games there. So that's what you get for a, your opening snapshot, pretty much the same as it is for every other standard action PC game. Wonder how we got blocks and steals. Let's take a look at well, the team screen here. So this would be the team screen for the outside one for Los Angeles. And those are the real life stats. Joe Mullaney is the coach. And so that really hasn't changed. Obviously, no three-pointers and such. All right. So the first thing we always do after taking a look at the basic screen is we're going to doll up a couple teams here, shall we? And organize some team information. Apparently, there's some new draft stuff, too. Team information. Okay, you get the basics. You get the arena, the coach, and the team names. So let's do um, the Knicks and the Lakers. So we'll do the Knicks first, Madison Square Garden. This hasn't changed. Coach is there. Arena name is there. I don't have a logo. Let's get a logo. Zip through my logos here. There we go. Nick 74 to 76. Logo is assigned. Okay. If we had coaches pictures, this would be where it would be. So we can make Bill Rob Bill Walton, for instance, the coach. I don't have right, the coach's photos. I guess they go in the same with the players, just in case you're wondering. Nick's uniforms. They are in an A and an H format. I, oops. Road is always first. So I find New York. Oh, 69 to 77. Click on assign uniform image. We got a uniform. Home. Same deal except for his age. Sixty-eight to seventy-seven. First years of the new garden. Assigned. Full court. Okay. Half court is kind of the old style. Full court. It gives you a default court if you want it. I don't want that. You can go to um, sportsreplays.net. You look around there they will have courts i click on this for madison square garden and the knickerbockers are set i'll do the lakers one real quick how you doing brian pelletier good to have you along like i said any questions i go too fast please tell me to slow down and i will brian good to have you along so there so the knicks are set and ready to play Los Angeles. Okay, so it starts back with that. I'll do first. I got to change it to the Lakers. Done. It's a great Western form of, or that's the form that year. And that's the court. Let's go back for home uniform. Los Angeles. Or LA Lakers, 66 to 71. That gold and purple. Jerry West number. Road. Dark purple. Okay, and as always, when you finish editing anything in here, you don't X out. It won't save it. Midwest Sports, how you doing? You hit OK there, and it's saved. 
And so if I click on New York up here, you see the logo, you see the uniforms, and you see the flares. And this is the New York team that won, and I don't have the pictures, but this is the team that won the NBA championship, that the finals that particular year. All right. The new feature this year is fictional teams. Now, how do I do that, you ask? Take a look at the draft. That's not what I want. All right, let's start. Before we get to the Knicks and the Lakers and actually play, let's create a new league. Oh, okay. So we're going to say chess. This is all brand new. This is probably the biggest new feature in the game. Um, have I tried Cactus League before? I have not. It usually is pretty pricey from what I understand. Um, Action PC plays well. I sometimes play the uh, Excel spreadsheet game above the rim, which is a knockoff of Status Pro, and that's a very good game. All right. So I have a test league. I've had it for several incarnations, but find it overwhelming. Yep, Mike will play a quarter between the Lakers and the and the Knicks in a bit. But um, that's the team that won the championship. So I guess I can set what year I want my test league for. It defaults to 2018. I don't know if these roll over or not. We can go back to 1920. And start your league in 2050 if you want. We'll start it in 2018. Create blank teams. How many divisions? None through, I'm assuming eight. Let's start with one. And you can pick up to, I think, ten teams. We'll do eight. Team names, random cities. Okay, and this this is the new one. This is they've never done this in a game before. You've always had to create your own stuff. How many create fictional players? Quantity. Let's say fifteen. Wow, you can create a. Oh wait, for this league. Whoa! Okay, 8 times 10 is 80. 96. I want 96. Okay. Mixed positions. Veteran rookie mix. I'll leave it there. Your choices are replacement value, rookie mix, veteran mix, and both. And maximum assigned per team will be 12. And I want the computer to generate a schedule. How are you doing, Al? Um, I'm not sure if Strat's broadcast friendly. Dave Little's done one. Yeah, Dave, this is a wow. This is a wow. This is all brand new. So we're going to trust that this all works. And hit Create Lig. Test created. And there you go. We assign teams to Austin, Fort Worth, Philadelphia, Columbus, Houston, Los Angeles, Chicago, and New York. Let's meet Columbus. And you can see you got 12 players, everybody active. Good names, Sheldon Coleman, Bob Spiller, Chris Thielen. Brian Caster, Sonny Gannis. I wonder if my name's in there somewhere. Kevin Means, Gabe Ham, Tony Boston, David Webster, Don Mawai, Kevin Harrison, and Don Parrish. 
it generates stats. So it generated all these stats. It generated everything that you see. It generates ratings, durability. There's your offensive numbers, your defensive numbers, and their ratings in the position, specific positions, by the way. David Webster looks like a beast. Even some, what, the equivalent of basketball sabermetrics or advanced stats. It assigns them from a college, and it gives the ages. So Sheldon Coleman, for instance, is 19, and Kevin Means, the lone center, is 31, and it gives them all a number. And I think it generated an 82-game schedule. Oh my goodness, it did. It got a full schedule. And the status. Wowzers. So that really did. It just sat there and it created as a full fictional league and made this 82 game schedule and gave everybody ratings and statistics based on the year that you set. In fact, the, Al might get this or Dave might get this because they are from Massachusetts. But the point, starting point guard for the New York franchise is Robert Lertzma. Oh, we got someone going there. Isn't that nice? I am. No, we got Dave and Al. I don't know what James Gaming did. But um, Robert Lertzma, that's a name that Dave should know. That is extremely impressive. And if you're into that sort of thing, we talked about um, when it came, it came out that um, this was kind of going in the direction of OOTP and, and that line of games. And so it really is just numbers. I don't know if seasons roll or not. I we could. I'm not going to quick send the season, um, but I am incredibly impressed just with that aspect alone that you can create. Now you've always been able to put in players by hand and do it that way to make homebrew seasons. Zep 64 and a friend of his, and someone else did um, some massive college basketball team. Uh, thanks, Brian. Um, but that, I'm telling you, this is leaps and bounds above anything I've seen from Dave Cox, Cook Sports ever. The ability to make fictional um, teams at work. Okay, so. Robert Lertzma, by the way, was the morning person at WGBH, Dave, on the radio, and was Morning Pro Musical, the classical stuff, for years and years and years. I thought that was funny. Oh, that's why I got deleted. Okay. All right. So let's go back to our, oh, we can't change the season? That's curious. For... The other games, you're able to change the season right there, and you can't. All right. So let's go back to our – set, and there again, you can see how it created everybody and the scores. I'm just – wow. I'm floored by that. All right. Let's go back to 69. And let's set up an exhibition quarter between the Lakers and the Knickerbockers. So Los Angeles and New York. What are the default settings? Okay. 
I don't do auto sub, but that hasn't changed. So, but you can set it up for, as usual. When oh, the Lakers logo. Ha ha! Guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to set up the Lakers logo. Uncle Ron Goofy. Okay, yep. You want you want this to go through a firewall, just in case you ever want to play online. So I do. I forgot to give the Lakers a logo. Okay. Here's your logo. Hit okay. We're back. Okay, exhibition. Lakers. X. All right, this does not appear to have changed. I'll coach both the offenses. I unselect the human auto sub. I think Dave Little does that. You can use your, use your poison. Zoom things are the same. Game screen. We do the full, full court. I don't think any of that has changed. In fact, it looks like the same settings that it always does. All right. I unselect team color. Play by play. Play by play result. All kinds. Green Bay ball, display dead ball screen, display backcourt. We'll leave the rest of that the same. Dave, I'm not real encouraged here that they've done anything with the chalkboard just by looking at this. Sound, I don't do narrator. We'll have the sound effects. It's going to be loud. Cut everything down to half. Plus, okay. And that looks to be the same. Any questions? How you doing, Elon? I'm not sure how often I'm using either, Dave. But the fact that it's there, I'm not sure if you can roll the season or not. You could probably reset and import and trade. But the fact that it's there just impresses me. Okay, any questions before I get into playing a quarter? Anything else that you want to see? Um, well, I got to change that. Okay. So teams gives you the ratings of the teams in the lower left-hand corner. Players. A hell of a game here. Jerry West, uh, Garrett, Elgin Baylor, Happy Harrison, Wilt Chamberlain at center, and the Knicks starting five, Fra uh, Walt Frazier, Dave Barnett, Bill Bradley, Dave DeBusher, and Willis Reed. Stats, which is what I usually leave it on. The matchups and the ticker, which isn't available because it's an exhibition game. So this doesn't look like it has changed as far as um, the presenting screen. We'll go with who they they selected. You can do fictional. Thanks, Al. Uh, you can play shortened quarters. You can play. Um, oh, we can do. I'll just set up this again. We'll get to the fictional. We'll get to the exhibition game in a moment. Under rules. You can set how many quarters you want in a game. Two or four minutes per period. You can play a full 20 minute period. You can set it for a one minute period. Overtime length. Five minutes from one to 20. Okay. Shot clock. 
You can have no shot clock. You have a one second shot clock. Boy, you'd have a lot of turnovers, wouldn't you? Um, you can have no shot clock. Or a clock that runs up to 45 seconds. You can set the time. You can display the shot clocks in tenths of seconds. Timeouts per game, you can set that. Six is the standard, I think, for that particular year. But from none to 15. Timeouts in the last period. Should be four. Timeouts in the last three minutes. And additional timeouts in overtime. Okay? And you can set media timeouts. Miscellaneous rules. Quarter jump. You can make the zone legal or illegal. You can use a three-point shot. You can play every game on a neutral court. You can have replay reviews. Um, you can have a game score ticker. Jump ball rule. Same as you can go back and forth from the NBA or college or in high school. Jump ball or alternating possession. Active roster limit. Set it to whatever your heart desires. You can have no injuries, in-game injuries, and pre-game injuries. Same as before. Fouls. Non-shooting fouls is a five shot. You get DQ. I mean, you can change everything about this, okay? So the default rules you see check three to make two, and the penalty two to make one, and the bonus one shot free penalty. If you've watched any of Dave Little stuff, it's there. And you can count a technical as a personal. Okay? Um, ABA, you can set the ABA 7, college 5. You can set to have 10 fouls if you want. You can set technical ejections. You can have illegal defenses. You can have suspensions. Usage. If, you want, if you're a stickler for usage penalties, you see it right there. I don't play with usage penalties on. Just a personal preference. Display. It's the same as, as with anything else. Yeah, those are great. Um, the chalkboard was, yeah, that's a win-win for you. We'll see the chalkboard in a sec when I play the game. Um, that's what I would say, Tom. The biggest thing that needed improvement was the chalkboard. We'll see that. Uh, and the baseball and football chalkboards are incredible. Hockey and basketball need work. Anything else before I do the uh, sim quarter? Yeah, we're about to do that, Tom. About to play that quarter between the 69 Knicks and Lakers. Um, 18, of course, the current season comes with it. Uh, eight, uh, a 50 season came with it. No, no, no. 69, 70, 85, 86, but I have that one already dolled up, so that won't do any good to show you. And uh, 98, 99. So anything else that you guys want to see before we actually get into some game action? How much? It was the pre-sale. It's 48 if you've never bought it. If you've ever, for the deluxe, if which comes with the current season. Also comes with 20 great NBA championship teams. And this year, for the first time, comes with 20 great college teams. So if you go out, if you splurge for the Deluxe, which is 48 if you've never bought before, Upgrade, I think, brought it down to, use the coupon Upgrade, brought it down to 43. And if you bought it in the pre-sale, or wait for the game to go on sale, because everything does, um, you can get it for 38. So anything else you guys want to see before we actually play some hoops? All right, so um, Tom, I'm with you. The biggest thing I wonder is is the um, is the chalkboard. All right. If I missed anything, we can go through it again after the quarter. So it's Dick Barnett, Net, Dick Barnett, not Dave Barnett, and. Uh, 
Let's play. Okay, so we've seen that. You've seen where the logos go. I'll allow it. I don't care. Next bench is fine. Oh, play by play. It's a little fast. Chamberlain wins the jump. Oh, there's no change to the chalkboard. Looks like off the rim. Come on, I was supposed to call that, right? Reed comes out with it. Hold it. Stop. Stop. Technical difficulties. Time out. I'm supposed to be calling all of this. Time out. Crowds a little more involved. Oh, goodness gracious. What the hell was that? Wow, I forgot to change the play calling. Call all plays. That's a, that's not new, but that's the difference from before. Make sure that's checked. Okay, so sadly I'm not seeing a lot of difference. Okay, so West will go to the line, shooting two, Knicks two, nothing, just the opening minute. First free throw from West. Now you see him dribble and miss the free throw. Did that look much different to you? It really doesn't to me. Knicks aren't going to make a change. And West dribbles the ball. See him put it in his hand, that's new, and the green makes that he makes it. Okay. Knicks will continue. So the play calling screen is pretty much the same. Frazier's going to bring it up. One star means that that is, well, if there's a slash, like you see with Reed, he's not open. Not that you want him to shoot an outside shot anyway. One star means that there's a good chance it's going to get stolen. Two star means that you could try the pass, but it's not good. Three is the most open shooter. So that hasn't changed. So Frazier is going to find Bradley for an outside shot. Yeah, no difference. Same chalkboard. Yeah, that's too bad that they didn't do anything with it. So we get it out to Bradley. Oh, you see the pass there. And the whistle blows and Bradley gets called for the travel. So at least there's some ball movement. Um, okay, so the Lakers dribble it up. We're going to feed Chamberlain inside. He's got a three-star. He's guarded by Reed. So you see Chamberlain. So it's a little bit better. Finger roll. Yes. 3-2 Lakers. Again, Bradley's open outside. Let's pass and see it around. Okay, that's the same. DeBusher inside is open. West is guarding him. He's going to try and shoot. So he takes it in the hand, fakes it. Two-handed layup. That's a bit different, guys. And Bradley will get the assist, so it's 4-3. to three. So West will walk it up. You'll find Garrett on the left wing or the right wing. Will he shoot? Touch pass to Baylor instead. Oh, the play-by-play -play is too slow. I got to get that in sync. Is Garrett going to shoot? Jumper. Jumper. No. Baylor with a rebound. Baylor's going to shoot. Blaze it up. No. No good. Harrison. Happy Harrison has it. 
He's going to try and shoot. Pump fake. Short shot. Good. Okay. So the playback plays a little and the busher gets called for the foul, and Harrison will go to the line for one. I don't remember the players actually moving around and taking the ball in the hand. That's the same thing that they had put in the baseball game for the most recent version. So there are some changes. Adjust the chalkboard speed. You want it faster? Set the ball movement to eight. Let's try five. And let's try something a little bit faster in the play by play. So Harrison will shoot the freebie. Yeah, that's new. Take it in the hand and good. So he's got three, six, four Lakers. We'll continue. DeBusher's open. That's what I want to do. So Frazier's going to feed DeBusher. But he shoots it himself. No good. But West is called with a foul, and Frazier's going to shoot too. So this screen hasn't changed at all. First shot up. First shot good. See him put it in his hand. Second shot's good. Or not at six. This would actually be a good classic final to play. We're going to pass. Garrett. Going to shoot from outside is the call. Barnett with the steal. No fast break. Frazier's going to call his own number. Barnett. Bounces it to Frazier. And they're going to play bouncy bouncy. And that's Barnett takes the shot and that's out of play. So still there's a good chance for an audible. Chalkboard is basically the same. Okay, both ways. I don't think you want to go much slower than that, do you? Because it was already at 55. All right, I'll slow down the chalkboard for this series, Dave. Going to go Chamberlain inside. See Chamberlain get it. Pick and roll. And taking way too long to shoot. And he missed it. Garrett is over the top, and Reed will shoot one the other way. I want to have an actual possession first. Reed hits the free throw at 7-6. to six. New York. All right. Um, West will pass. Baylor is going to shoot inside. Because he's open. Rises up. Rises up. Gets a copyright strike. Blocked by Bill Bradley. And then Harrison gets called for the loose ball foul. And why this is people didn't why didn't like basketball in the late sixties? You shot a free throw for every blessed foul. Barnett, it's the freebie. Eight six New York. So let's set up a regular play. Pass the west outside. This is the Harrison stolen by Reed, but again. The Knicks aren't running. Mm. All right, we'll try something to Bradley outside here. Oh, my God, that's, like, painfully slow. Let's get the organ music to see if it, uh, that gets claimed. Pass to Frazier. Swings it to Bradley. Ron takes a nap. Back to Frazier. Bradley. Drives inside and throws it away. I think that's too slow. Baseball was a time of free love and free love. Yeah, it's a small step in the right direction, Elon. I would agree with that. I think they've made some progress. Having people shoot with the left or right hand was something that was new. Um... 
So there's some improvement there, and there's a little more ball movement. And you can see players trying to go in and take the shot. Um, so we should probably speed it up just a little bit. 15 is too slow. Too slow. Let's try 8. So we're gonna try we're gonna try to feed it into Chamberlain. The Bush are guarding him. Okay, there you see some passes. Baylor. Baylor outside, weaves through, gonna take the shot. Good. That actually I would say is a step in the right direction, guys. You actually see the final pass made, it looks like before the shot. Let's try Dick Barnett outside for the 15 footer. Barnett shoots i'm not sure if that's the read is called for the over and back and oh goody chamberlain's gonna shoot a free throw this will go well mr 44.6 percent from the line wilt chamberlain here you see him put it in his hand and can't get the fall rebound goes to west he brings it out to garrett you don't see that Let's do the pick and or roll with Chamberlain, shall we? Chamberlain moves in and slams it home. But the play-by-play -play is ahead of the um, is ahead of the chalkboard. Yeah, you could do a March Madness. They actually release the teams for most of that at the end. You could just play along with it. So I'll run a couple more plays. Uh, guys, what do you want to see in game while I'm doing this? We're going to do an out pass to Bradley or for an outside shot. Bradley with the jumper. No. Rebound. Goes to Garrett. And oh! Let's see what we get on a fast break. 3-0-1 the other way. Garrett, Harrison, and Chamberlain. Barnett back. Garrett. Lays it up and in. And so it's 12 to 8, Lakers. Going to pass it around. I don't need to retake it outside. The computer will improvise. Frazier jumper, no. Reed with a rebound. Reed's going to shoot. Willis Reed. And he commits the personal foul. Oh, ho, ho. So he's going to come out for Nate Bowman. And the Lakers have it the other way. So Elgin Baylor outside, guarded by Barnett. Baylor on the wing. Shoot the ball. Thank you. Shoots a jumper. No, if it's no good, you can. Oh, it's blocked. You see the block. Harrison has it. He'll put up the runner. And he's called for the offensive foul. Should be a whistle there. So Rick Roberson, nope, Rick Roberson, there you go, comes in. So that's like before. Bradley inside. Bowman instead, he's fouled by Chamberlain. And he'll shoot one. And he missed. Baylor gets the rebound. Now we're going to try an outside shot to Baylor. Jumper. You can see it go in the hand. And it, and it does it. Okay. So I think we've seen how the game plays. Inside it pretty much does the same thing as it always had. And, and that part is good. Uh, Ron, just turned in. How did I like the new game so far? Um, don't know, Elon, if they've made any changes to the hockey chalkboard. Now's the time to get those suggestions into Dave over at his place because the hockey game is being done. That's the next live release and will be the last one of the calendar year. How do I like it so far? Um, I've always been a fan of the game. The fictional thing, Arnold, if you go back and watch later, is really cool. You can set up whatever your heart desires and... It draws on names, and 
I thought that was the best part of it. The rule set, I mean, it's customizable, um, but the fictional part really wowed me. It even created its own schedule. Anything else inside the game you want to see, guys, before I go back out? I'll let that run for a sec. I'll take a drink of water. Game stats are pretty much the same. I mean, there's not... I mean, it's amazing. If you got the game three or four years ago and then play it against, there you go. Wow. I can actually look at the camera. Wow. That's a different game. But incrementally, year to year, there isn't a lot of difference. The chalkboard's a little bit different. The ability to create fictional teams and franchises is completely new. Um, I mean, basketball's basketball. The rule sets are the same. Don't know if the, the schedules are real or not. So, anything else you guys want to see in-game? It doesn't look like it tracks any new stats on the screen. Hearing nothing, I'm going to get out of that. And we'll look at some of the other things. Of course, no pictures... Uh, the, it's easy to mod. So if you've modded one action PC game, you've modded them all. Let's take a look at the schedule. Now, this looks to be the same as before. I wouldn't touch it. Let's just put it that way. There's nothing. So the new things they did for the football game doesn't look like they passed it over. And I, I don't want to screw around with it. So. Because chances are that's when you get the. I'm still getting the please wait so I won't hit the button. That's usually when you get the in-game error. Please wait. Can I hit cancel? Okay, I can. Um, I showed you what the rosters look like. How to mod. This is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's rookie year. So the in-game player pages look about right. The salary should match what they were for the era. I, but don't hold me to that. Doesn't look like Luckily, like there's anything new on that page. Yeah, that's all the same. Let's see his real life rookie stats. What does it keep track of for stats? Team reports. Same stuff as before. We'll look at Los Angeles because I already did the logo there. So you can see the schedule coming up. The roster. The stats. Those are the real stats for people. Per 48. Game averages. The ratings for the real players. Their status when you get people, when you lose people. How they shoot. So offensive rebound on a two-pointer. Inside, outside. Uh, three points, drives, fast breaks, and stuff like that. And team shooting. Don't know if that's new or not. Your leaders. This looks to be pretty much the same as it always is. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, you don't want to change anything that really works. The leaders per 48. Leaders per game. So just the, the averages. How they do the scoring, field goal percentage. 
defense. I wonder where he got the blocks st and steals from because those weren't official stats till I believe 72, 73. High numbers, home numbers, road numbers. Don't know if that's new or not. Shooting, miscellaneous, pretty much the same thing. And special, which has to do more, there's a mix between regular and advanced statistics. How you doing, ID? Uh, that's not necessarily true. Um, I don't, but it's something always to watch out for, Mike. Oops, no, I want this button. When I did the give the stuff to get ready for the AFL season, the schedule was right, kind of, but the home and re visitors were reversed. And there was no Thanksgiving game or any Friday, Saturday games or anything like that. So I went in and put the schedule in by hand. It wasn't that bad. It's only 58 games. So always good to double check if you care that much. If not, it's going to play everybody the right amount of times on the right spots. Certainly everything in a modern season, I'm talking 70s, 80s, 90s, Aughts and today is going to be modern. It's going to be correct. I'm not sure at one point in the 60s he has it fixed to. Double driven on that like button. So the Lakers played Philly on day one this season. Okay, well, let's take a look. We can check that pretty easily. Sure, we can. ID was streaming as, yep, October 17th against Philadelphia. So that looks to be about right. Lots of trips back and forth. Don't even play the Warriors till the middle of November. So I'm assuming that's right. Play a song. Oh. It would help if I actually had it on the right screen. Are these games compatible with Mac computers? I think only if you use um, the virtual machine. They're not Mac native. They're, they're, they're Windows native. Dave Gardner wants me to get in trouble again. So, sorry, can't help you there, Matt. If you, if you use the uh, virtual machine aspect of a Mac, you can play it as you can with any Windows game. But it's not specifically for the Mac. I don't know, gang, if there's a Mac compatible or a Mac native basketball game or not. I know OOTP and Franchise Hockey Manager are Mac native. But none of the action PC games are. Uh, can you play Strat on a Mac? Right out of the box? In Linux, you'd use the Wine emulator. But... These games have never been uh, for Mac. Is uh, the guy that was talking to me about Cactus is League? Is that straight for the Mac, or is that just PC? Same problem. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to have access to Windows. I forget how much the virtual machine is in the Mac, but it will do everything. Of course, it's pretty much the same in sides anyway between a Mac and a and a Windows-based machine. Yeah, no, yeah, so same thing. I, I just don't know if there are enough people who play games on a Mac to make it worth their while. You can always send an email to um, support at uh, dksports.com and let them know that you would like that and see, because I'm sure it has to do with sales. And I don't know what the programming differences are. I'm pretty sure this is written in Visual Basic. Any other questions? Something else you'd like to see? Um, so, yeah, it looks like this schedule is pretty good. I, I guess to sum up, the big changes are, are, there are some changes to the chalkboard, but not a lot. It's a little bit better, but it's nowhere near on par 
with the baseball and the football, but some some small steps. You can see shooters shoot from either the left or right side of their tag, which would be their left hand or their right hand. That's new. And depending on how slow you have it, there are some passes now with that. Um, the game is as customizable as ever. The fictional stuff is the big deal. If you wanted to do do that, my God, you can. Um, the deluxe version comes with three NBA four NBA seasons. The current or the pre previous season, uh, 6970, 8586, and 9899 plus the I can show you that. Um, let me show you what actually the, the games that season teams that come with the game. Um, seven. Oops. Well, that's the wrong button. So the college teams that come with it, 90 UNLV, 91 Duke, 94 Arkansas, 97 Arizona, 99 Connecticut, 76 Indiana, 77 Marquette, 78 Kentucky, 79 Michigan State, that's Magic, 80 Louisville, 82 Carolina, 84 Georgetown, 85 Villanova, 88 Kansas and Danny Manning, 89 Michigan, and for the really old farts, 61 6 Cincy, 63 Loyola, 64 UCLA, six, only one UCLA team, and it's that, wow. No Kareem, no Walton. Wow, 66 UTEP and 74 Carolina State. Let's tell you the pro one. Come on, nope. Oops, if you hit the right button. Pro seasons, when this comes with the basic game too. 98 Spurs, Shaq's 05 Heat, Nowitzki's 10 Dallas, LeBron's 15 Cavs, current champion Toronto, you can see them, and they're all free with the game, they're all free with the game, any version that you buy. So even if you bought the basic version, you'd get that and the, co and the college thing is just to play around with it. Okay. Looks like it's time to wrap up. Is the up the 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 is the upgrade worth the price? I think the fictional stuff I think makes it worth the price of admission if if it interests you. You can do some side projects. You don't have to worry about whether the the players play to real life. Even though we know the action PC is a very good simulation all the way around the board. Um, the chalkboard's a bit improved. If this wasn't a channel that sat there and did this stuff, I would probably say, unless you are hankering to play some fictional basketball, I would say no. If you bought last year's and you're not interested in fictional, it doesn't look that much different. But if you haven't bought it in three or four years, the jumps are going to be there. I mean, the stat package is always good. There's nothing that, that caught me as... I'm disappointed that I bought the game. We'll do enough with it over the next 12 months to make it worthwhile. But is there anything that, that stands out to me and says, oh, wow, you got to have it? If you're a basketball fan, yes. If you're interested in the fictional creation thing, yes. I think he's about to come out with um, just looking at what was there for the draft functions. It looks like the basketball encyclopedia is going to come out this year. Because he's changed some of that around. Um, and so if you want to wait for that, I'd say wait, wait for that. Is it worth the 50 bucks? That's for you to decide. If you are a casual basketball fan, no. But if you've already bought one, you get the instant upgrade for $5 off and it'll go on sale.
But yeah, the fictional I think is is quite creative. Um, and look, the numbers look solid. I don't know if that means if you set it to a year that it will do statistics for that year, even though it's kind of harder to do 2050, or if it's just a round robin type thing. Um, but but yeah, I mean, this is, it's a mature game. There are some things that I'm sure that we'll find. I'll play around with it over the weekend. I probably won't stream it to see if there's anything else that struck me as that. There seems to be some new sounds. It's just as moddable as ever. Uh, the fictional thing is the big thing that's new. You can, can you make your own franchise teams? Well, they sell them. Um, you can buy franchise teams for, for this. Um, but if they do do the basketball encyclopedia, it would be like the baseball and the football one. He's supposed to do them for all four. Uh, if you watch the hockey video, it's pretty much the same thing. Except for you're actually going to have some scoring. Uh, there's also, if you're not interested in playing specific seasons, there's the great 144 teams. So pretty much as every, every NBA finalist. Um... I mean, the options here are endless. And in fact, I grabbed some college stuff when it was on sale. He's getting a lot better with the college stuff. All right. Anything else before we go? And I apologize for cutting into the end of ID stream to go with this. But we always try to do the uh, unboxings virtually live. So installation was a breeze. Um, modding is the same. If you've modded one game, it's the same. We went through the fictional, the scheduler. Another disappointment, it doesn't seem a lot different, and if I'm sure if I mismatch the math, it's going to puke back an error at you. Urgh. You saw the struggles I had with the baseball game. But overall, hey, it plays basketball. It plays a good game of basketball. Um, and like I said, how much do you like the game, and when was the last time that you bought it? Remember, every season is compatible with every version. This isn't a Stratomatic thing where if you don't buy the current version, you can't play the current season. Yeah, and I, ID is right. I mean, this the big forward, the big thing here is the is the fictional. But it really is, outside of that, it really kind of feels like an incremental one. I think the football one, to me, felt more like a must-buy than the basketball one. There was some good size, good changes to the football game this year. You can change around the settings. And I think for someone who was new to football sims, <clears throat> Mr. Gardner, that it's kind of easier to get into because the play calling is easier. Um, so, yeah, because I stream all four of the Action PC Sports, they're must-buys anyway. In fact, you guys bought this with the Patreon stuff, so thank you very much. Um, my wife certainly thanks you for that. Uh, but if you're lacking on seasons for the middle one, like I said, you got three seasons that came, four seasons, the current 69, 70, 85, 86, 98, 99, plus the 20 grade pro and college teams that I sent you. So it essentially ships with six seasons. Um, Dave Little and I, that would be fun. That would be fun. He, He's so good at it, but he's in his playoffs right now. We'll talk about that to see. I would do color for sure. Maybe one of his final escapes. Don't want to scare him off too much. Um, will football get fictional players? I think this was probably a pretty safe bet that this is going to be a test. Um, I would also imagine Brad that the football fan base is going to be a little more fussy about results in the basketball one. So I'll play around with the basketball. I might try a 60s test league and an 80s test league and see what we get for scoring differences. Um, but I think it's leading up to that. I think it's leading up to that. And like I said, I don't want to go through the draft stuff now. Because that, that would mean I have to create stuff. Um, but it looks like the draft portion of it has gotten a major buff. Anything else, my friends? 
And so, so I, I, you know, I, I knee is right. You know, it really depends on what your expectations of how much things change from year to year. If you bought it last year, if you're not interested in the fictional, but if you're a Toronto Raptors fan, <laughs> you downloaded this at 5:57 p.m. Eastern. It can't. I got. I didn't get a notification. I hit the F5, the refresh at 5:54, and it changed from text to the executable. So one last call here for questions, concerns, comments. Um, I don't think you ever have to worry about the type of game that, that this plays. It's just going to be a good game. Um, doesn't look like it's any quicker. If you just joined this chalkboard, it's a little more refined, but it's still not great. And so if that's a deal breaker for you, it hasn't changed that much. So, give you anything else you guys can think of? I forget what the, I suppose I could call it up. What does the, I can show you the different versions. Come on. Or not. Okay, here we go. I don't get reimbursed for pushing this either, so I'm just doing this as a fan. Basketball game, the basic. Oh, there, the basic just comes with the college and pro champions. That's 38. The deluxe is the one I bought. Comes with 69, 70, 85, 86, uh, 98, 99, 2018, 2019, and plus what comes with the basic. And the deluxe comes with all the college teams. Now, you can buy the college as a separate download, but that's new this year. Instead of giving you a ton of pro teams, if you really wanted to play the you know, the college schedule, the pre-sale would have been the one to do it. You probably could have gotten it for 58 bucks. It's pricey, but there's every Division I college team there. So that's the three versions that they're on that they're offering and if you bought any version of the deluxe game before and are buying a deluxe upgrade in the type the word upgrade in the coupon section and it's five bucks off it would help if i actually showed you what came with that oh man not my day alexa sing me a song Here's a song I just recorded with Ed Sheeran, who was having trouble motivating himself to go to a party. Uh, uh, yeah. Alexa, oh, volume three. And I don't ever wear the tie up. Wondering if I could sneak out the back. Alright, I better stop playing that before I get copyright nailed again. Alexa, stop playing. Alright, gang. So that's what comes with the deluxe. The only diversion between the deluxe college and the deluxe regular is the college season and the the basic doesn't have the uh the stuff listed on the top just the uh, college package of champions and the pro champions package of 20 teams so you get a lot to play with for that all right okay So I'm Ron Juckett. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to do a game probably tomorrow night back to baseball, and hopefully I will be copyright struck again. And then Sunday, watch for something that Dave and I are going to do on his channel, and then we're going to have Ask Uncle Ron on Sunday night. It'll be a weekly thing now that the that 70s tournament is over. Dave Little is with you at 9 o'clock. Whatever his basketball playoff game is, He'll have it for you at 9 Eastern, 8 Central. And for sports simulations and replays, which is his group, I'm Ron Juckett. Hit the like, subscribe, and click on that bell to know when I go live, which will be sometime tomorrow night. Until then, talk to you the next time.